Another day, another vlog. Right, right guys, for start off, I'm feeling much better now. Um, as I woke up this morning, it's like it's almost gone. So it was literally four days, five days, we're just feeling under the weather. But to be honest with you, it never knocked me off my feet. It never, you know, I've had far worse in the past. It, this one was uh, woman flu, a really easy one to get over. Right, where are we? In the background here, there's Tree Town. And the reason why I'm coming to Tree Town is I'm repaying a visit to the last time I probably came to Tree Town actually, which was for Sharples Chip Shop. I'm hungry, I want some fish and chips. The last time it's, it's caused quite a bit of controversy um, of, of, you know, is it really good? Is it Now look, I, I don't think you'll ever get the same as back, back in the UK. And one of the reasons that I think in my opinion is the chips, oh sorry, it's not the chips, the potatoes. You can't really get the same potatoes here in Thailand. It's very hit and miss. You're definitely not going to be able to buy Morris Piper uh, potatoes here. But one thing that was excellent and the best one I've ever had here was the fish. Um, I had cod and batter and it was it was superb and I'm not kidding you. So we're going to go back there and um, see, I don't think the guy's around, um, and, and just see what they're like, you know. How long has it been open now? Three or four months? I came when it first opened, so let's go back over there and uh, I know Dan enjoys fishing chips, so <laughs> come on Dan, let's go. Then, afterwards, we've got a party to attend. Um, it's a friend of mine, Gary, on my alcohol. Friend of ours, Gary. Uh, it's his 60th birthday and he's having it in hedonism. I think I'm going the wrong way here. <laughs> Gone the wrong way down this, go this way. It just shows how much I know about tree town. What do you call? Top Jai model lawyer. Yeah. Uh, can, can we get two two fish and chips, please? <laughs> uh, yeah, two fish and chips. And what do you want, Dan? Peas, gravy. Uh, yeah, two fish and chips, two curry. Uh, what kind of fish? Cod, cod, please. Oh, do you want haddock? Okay, one cod, one haddock. And uh, two cokes, please. I see you somewhere before, yeah. <laughs> Cocktail and car. Hey. Wow. To be fair, them chips are looking much better uh, than, than the last time I came. But like I say, it's it miss with, with chips here. Uh, this one, Haddock. Haddock here. Yeah. Okay. okay. Cod. Cod here, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Cock and carp. Ah, probably shouldn't see that one. It's getting upset some people. It's a boat of gravy. <laughs> I didn't order them, Dan. Dad ordered them. <laughs> okay, well, uh, you know, to me, this fish has always been the best here. Uh, and it, you know, any time people watching this, look, you, you, I've seen you eat fish and chips without any salt and vinegar on it. You can't do that. You've got to have salt and vinegar on it. Vinegar first, salt after. So the salt sticks, sticks to it. Hey. Chem, chem. Yes, we like chem. Okay, let me have a taste. Taste test it. Is it as good as last time? Let's cut this fish in, in half. Let's have a look. Oh, that's crispy already. Yep, 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 yep. Look at that. Taste test. Oh. Yeah, but it's, um, it's good. It, it, it's, it's really light, fluffy. Um, the batter's crispy. Beautiful. Let, let me try the chips. This was, I wouldn't say it was a problem last time, but um, let, me get a, let me get a thicker one. Totally soft. Those are double cooked. How they should be double cooked. Yeah. Much better than last time. But potatoes are always going to be hit and miss. Even back home in the UK. Depends on the season when you get. Um, the new potatoes, uh, which is the first crop of the year, they're always a bit harder. You know, you can't even make roast potatoes with them. So it's very difficult here in Thailand to get the correct potato. Dan took him and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll give it a review after. One other thing, let me just try that gravy. The gravy's nice and thick. Mm. Beefy as well. For the price, guys, 175 baht, and that's uh, a 
four pounds in the UK. Where you can get chips from for four chips, fish and chips from for four quid in the UK now. So yeah, prices are rising here. Prices are even rising even more back home. But yeah, four quid. I think the minimum is probably going to be eight, ten, ten pounds now or plus in the UK. So half the price. Now, what is it with um, with me? Every time I eat the fish and chips, I always like to uh, have coke with it for some reason. Uh, a glass of coke seems to wash it down nice, break it up. Um, right, what was that like? Excellent, guys, excellent. Uh, last time I came here, it was, it was brilliant, but the only slight problem was the chips were slightly hard in the middle. Now, that can, I was explaining this, that can be down to a few things. Is it the um, the potatoes themselves, which I think it was, uh, but them uh, have been double cooked and they, they, were, they were perfect. Crispy on the outside, uh, very soft on the inside. So, yeah, he's got the chips right now. The fish was superb. Dan had the addict, he liked it, but he said he preferred the cod. Whereas me, I'm more of a cod fan. I always think haddocks can be a bit too strong for me. But overall, excellent. 175 baht, okay, that was some fish and chips. Dan got the gravy, not me. Uh, so, and a couple of cans of Coke, I don't know the total price, but it's not that much when you're in the uh, food court in Tree Town. So guys, Sharples, fish and chips, excellent. I hate to say this, but yes, probably, probably the best, one of the best, certainly as a, a British street food, here, sitting in the street, it is the best one. Uh, excellent. Right. Now, as we were walking uh, through here, we heard somebody shouting, so who's that? But we carried on, uh, and that was what we were filming. But as I got into Tree Town, there was a guy who messaged me, he's a Thai guy named Pong, and he, and he said, was that you, Nick? I was like, yeah. Uh, and if you remember a few videos ago, we were on Walker Street and at the Frogland Bar, the new, the old Simon Beer Bar Complex. Uh, and this is the guy who owns that. He's the project manager down there. And I have, I have drank in here before, you know, because it was one of the places. Hey, see you now. <laughs> Sorry, Cap. Sorry, Cap. You okay? How are you? You okay? Yep. Oh, this your boy, yeah? Yep. Yeah, I too. My little I, I've been here before. Yeah. I've been here before? Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ate here before. And uh, well, I think months ago when in lockdown and. Uh, yep. Yeah, you're open, yeah? Yeah. So, yeah, I remember. <laughs> good to see you. Yeah. How. Um, Frogland, how? Uh, now, 30%. Huh? 30%, okay, yeah. okay. I think about two months. Two months, okay. Yes. Okay, uh, I, I will send you a message. We come and uh, video their progress. Yeah. Okay, cop and cop. Cop and cop, cop. Right here, I think Dan's struggling with this uh, gimbal. I think he's done a bit funny. Um, right, what are you out on Soy 7? We're outside Edenism and we're at Gary's party. Um, still early doors, still about 7.30 in the evening. I'm just looking at this, right? Look at this here. I'm trying to get rid of this post here because it's right in the way of the bar. And then the um, uh, the internet companies come along and put fiber optics in it and just block this right here. It's like, what are you doing? Look, it's actually blocking off the drainage as well. What can you do? It's Thailand. They do what they want to do. Right, guys, let's go inside and enjoy Gary's 60th birthday party. So, by the way, happy birthday to Gary. <laughs> 